Man, I've had, I've had, to, I've had, fr- I have made friends who are being basically, um, doing horrible things, right, and getting called out. Be straightforward what you want. Don't play games. If you play stupid games, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Don't try to like trick somebody or trap somebody at your apartment. Like, oh, do you want to come over and watch a movie? And then they come over and you're like, oh, I'm out of gas in my car, huh? And the cell phone tower just got destroyed. Like, <laughs> looks like you're stuck here. <laughs> do you want to have sex? I'll give you the truth, all right? And you know what? You're going to listen to this and you're going to think, hey, that's not me. I'm not that person. But you know what? You probably are that person, okay? I'm gonna give you the truth, okay? Here's the truth. I'd like to start by thanking every single person who's came out uh, in the past week um, to speak about different ways in which my behavior has made them feel um, uncomfortable or pressured during a sexual situation and to people who said that I've made unwanted advances and uh, had a hard time with rejection. Um, I'm sure this was not easy to do. It's never easy to speak out and it was uh, hard for me to hear as well because to be honest with you up until this point I didn't even really realize that I had this pattern that had affected multiple people um, I'd also like to apologize for my silence. Um, I think that when This stuff first came out. I was in a state of denial and shock um, I was you know just riding the high for my movie that just came out and then within 48 hours the words sexual misconduct and I just kind of spiraled into a mental health crisis. Uh, I'm okay now, but I don't really think this is about me. This is about the people that I've affected. So I just want to express my complete sympathy, respect, and uh, support for anyone who I've done wrong by. And I really want to do better and be fully accountable for everything that I've done. So that being said, I want to make a few things clear. Um, I've always taken no for an answer. Um, as far as consent, I've never uh, overstepped that line. You know, I think I want to have a more nuanced and important conversation about power dynamics, pressure, and uh, coercion. Because, you know, like I said, I think for, for a long time, I was behaving in a way that I actually thought was normal. Um, I thought that, you know, it probably is going normal, home from the bar alone made you a loser. Um, I thought that persistence was a form of flattery. And I thought that, you know, if at first somebody was reluctant, you know, they're playing hard to get, just try harder. And if you think someone's feeling you, you know, make a physical advance and uh, see if they go with it. And I think that, especially I realized when so many uh, young people, especially young men rushed to defend me uh, when this stuff first started coming out, that this type of sex pest behavior is normalized and a lot of people think this stuff is normal when I don't think that it is. And I think that I wanna be fully responsible for not having a fluid understanding of consent and what enthusiastic two-way consent looks like. Um, that being said, a lot of the things that have been said online about me uh, are not true. A lot of things are missing really important contextual information that I think would change people's interpretation of a lot of these situations, but I'm not here to invalidate anybody's lived experience. Uh, if you feel pressured, you know, that's just what it is. I hope that young people and young men in particular can use my mistakes to learn and uh, move through life with a better understanding of consent. Um, as far as what I have planned, I'm not really sure what comes next. I mean, obviously, you know, reporting is my one true love and I'm 25 years old and I have my whole life ahead of me. But I really think that I need to do some serious work on myself and uh, figure myself out. So I'm gonna start therapy sessions pretty much immediately. Um, also, not to blame alcohol, but I truly believe that uh, alcohol was a contributing factor to my poor decision making. And I think that alcohol in general has had a devastating impact on my life. So I think I'm going to uh, make the decision to join the 12 step program for Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> Wait, what? Into society, sorry. That's, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not funny. Step back from public life. And like I said, figure myself out. Um, and I hope that this reaches uh, the ears of anyone who's felt affected by me. Um, I'd love to reach out to you or you can reach out to me even just for me to say I'm sorry. And uh, I really apologize and I appreciate you all. Um, I also want to apologize to. Um, my closest collaborators, you know, my friends, my family, and people who will have to wear this stain on their career forever. Um, you guys don't deserve this, and uh, I love you guys. Uh. I got something that I really want to get your guys' opinion on. Okay. I tweeted out something today. Yeah? What'd you that tweet, was buddy? in effect saying something like, famous men mm-hmm. should not have random sex uh, with with anyone 
especially fans and when alcohol is involved. And there was some people... Okay, here's a question, actually. Here's a question. I feel like these topics are suck because like 60% of you guys are virgins, 1% of you are famous. So we're getting into like very obscure topics where it literally doesn't matter to any of you. But like, so when somebody says like, you shouldn't f fans. Okay, well, why? Power dynamics. What power dynamic? Uh, like, well, what is the power dynamic? Well, they look up to you? Okay, I guess, yeah, you could abuse that. It's a l could be a stretch, could also happen, but I don't know if that's enough on its face to be like, oh my god, like, this is red alert, right? But it's funny, because people are like, okay, yeah, you shouldn't f fans. Well, who should you f then? Other people in industry? Because now if you're going to talk about power dynamics, aren't those power dynamics going to be a million times more problematic? Like, if instead of a bunch of fans, if I went and a bunch of smaller streamers, what do you think more people would think is like fucked up? Because I, I, I think that people would be madder. Like, let's say that it came out that I, fucked, you know, like 20 fans versus I fucked, like 20 smaller female streamers. Like, what are people going to be more upset about? I think they would actually be more upset about like the smaller streamer thing because they're like, well, no, power that's actually power dynamics, right? I don't know, it's just kind of like you just like not fuck anybody. Here's here's. Here's the reality. This is so boring. This conversation topics are so boring. The reality is that just men suck when it comes to doing sex without being creepy and creepy. Um, and it's all men, um, or all types of men, not every man. But it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not a celebrity or whatever. Men just like don't have a lot of guidance or information or understanding of like how to navigate these topics well. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not. Celebrities are probably more likely to get caught than, you know, or rent all the bus driver or whatever the f um, But like, that's like, at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, I think guys just kind of suck at this kind of stuff. Um, it, but, but like, when you hyperfix it on like celebrities and all that shit, you make it sound like it's a problem unique to them, but it's not. It's not really unique to them at all. People that agreed, obviously, but there was a lot of people I saw this comment, well, what's the point of becoming famous then? And that kind of begs the question like, well, if the reason you're becoming famous is for the sole reason of having lots of random sex with women that's gonna be a problem is it and listen i i'm saying this man i've had i've had to i've had fr i have many friends who are being basically um doing horrible things right and getting called out and it's happening way too much. This is happening way. You disagree with that? I don't know if you do some shit. If you, let's say that you go to. Let's say that you like. Let's say that you go to the gym a lot and you do it because you want to get hot and f bitches. Like, is is that like? I mean, as long as you're not f***ing anybody. I mean, if that's your goal, if you want to fuck people, is that really that big of a deal? Or what if you're like, I want to be a lawyer because I think I get a lot of money. And I can fuck find some fine ass. That's why I want to be a lawyer. Like, I don't know. Is that? I mean, unless you're like f clients, <laughs> is that really a problem? Is that really a big deal? Is that really a bad thing? I don't know. Too much. And I think to myself, how is it that there's so many men, famous men, who are still doing this shit despite knowing that it's a that this is a problem, that it's gonna come out, right? And that you can't around you can't make mistakes like that and yet people are still out there being scumbags and yeah but the problem again i don't even know the problem is that we don't even know if the andrew callahan guy was abusing his fame he might have because from every tweet that i saw it just seemed like he was kind of like creepy and pushy which is bad but it's really Red shorts, black top. What? Are you a fashion like expert now or what? I'm just saying, Mel. Fine, stand up. No, I'm what just saying. How does this not work? What do you mean? This is cute. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Is it not cute? What is this? It's shorts. What are you oh, Ouch! Man. Don't do that. Okay. Why would you bite me? Bite. And it just makes me think like if you're a famous guy, I hate to tell you, but I think the one night stands, I think it's got to be out. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. 
Bruv, you f one girl in the past like 15 years. Why even like enter an opinion on this? Just shut the f up. You don't have to have an opinion on everything. You could also just not say anything. You could just shut the f up. It's so easy to just shut the f up. It's so easy. Go play some Factorio, bruv. And the reason I say that is to protect you from doing something horrible to somebody and doing something you will regret. It's also such stupid advice. Like, it's so funny because this motherfucker, I guarantee you, has probably been on at least one stream in his life where he's been talking about like abstinence only education is stupid because you can't expect teenagers to be abstinent. Then turns around. Um, if you're like a famous celebrity guy and there are like hot fucking women throwing themselves at you, like you have to say no, you can't f any of them because it's not good. Like, bro, what the f you think this is a realistic advice? And it seems that there's a high enough percentage of women who are regretting these hookups, who feel coerced, who feel like they can be manipulated into doing something they don't want to do. And I just keep seeing the same story over and over and over again. And it's like, what are we going to do about this? Because <clears throat> you would think that something would be changing by now, but it's like the same headline over and over and over again. I think that famous men need to stop having random hookups. It's just a recipe for disaster and pain and hurt and it's gonna fuck your and it's, it's gonna fuck your life up too right it's just not worth it and so this comment comes up like what's the point of becoming famous then well then therein lies the problem if you're becoming famous to sleep with a bunch of women well that used to be cool and that used to be a reason to become famous but now you can go ahead and do that but it's going to come out and you're going to hurt people and you're going to end up sleeping with people who were influenced by who either a fan of yours, who were too drunk. It's not even like a good, it's not even like a good take, like influenced by people who were a fan. Of, yeah, I hope you want to f if you're a fan of mine. Hell yeah, that's good. There's like nothing wrong with that. Like wanting to f them because they're a doctor or a lawyer because you think they're funny. Or it's like, like imagine there's like a comedian or something. It's like, oh yeah, like why'd you f I think he's really funny. That's abuse, honey. Like, what the f do you mean? As long as it's not being taken advantage of, people get so hung up on red flags, they don't even actually know what improper behavior looks like anymore. They just think, I've said this a million times, people think a red flag is in and of itself something bad. That's not. Like, this whole take of like, what if they want to f you just because they like you? <laughs> well, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. How do you think it fucking works? Who were influenced by your power and aura and just general that's every sexual interaction ever are people influenced by other people's auras and their powers and this guy was super confident and i saw that he was like the head of the fucking football team or this guy was a doctor or this guy's got a ton of money or this guy seems really successful or this guy is super hot or whatever like people say this shit all the time this is part of sexual like interactions fame and so I feel like with fame and power, there, there needs to be some giving up of responsibility or there needs to be some more acceptance of responsibility. Like with the power, with the money, with the fame, you have extra responsibility as a man to take extra care with your sexual partners because, listen, the truth is that women have been used and abused for a long fucking time. And it feels super weird that men are now having to be held accountable for what they're doing. And y'all, I guess, aren't ready for that. <clears throat> but I'm just saying, you're not gonna get away, you, you don't get away with it anymore. So like this advice, is as much for the men, you know, it's for the men to, to protect themselves and to protect the women. I'm saying you got to meet someone, get to know them a little bit, make sure that you're both sober and that you've got enthusiastic consent. Because it's just not worth it. I don't think a lot of these guys doing this necessarily 
want to be hurting people, right? I think they get caught up in the moment. I think they probably have a lot of okay, regrets about obvious. how they acted. He, I, like, he doesn't even know how these assaults even happen. He, I, why am I listening to this? Oh, God, it's so cringe. Like, and I'm not even, hold on, I'm not even trying to talk shit, by the way. Like, if you've been married for 20, 30 years, however the f long he's been with um, Hila or whatever, like, that's cool. That's great. That's awesome. I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's cool. That's, I'm not shitting on your relationship. I think it's super cool. But, like, you have no experience with hookup culture. I don't know if you've ever had experience with hookup culture or, or know anything about, like, these conversations. So why talk about it at all? Like, all you're doing is, is hurting the conversation. You're just like completely lost to see. I, this is so stupid. I don't know why it, it's like, Christ. He was a virgin like, before Gila? Is that actually true? If that's true, then he, he definitely shouldn't have any opinion on any of this shit. Am I crazy or is enthusiastic consent dumb? Enthusiastic consent sounds dumb because of the way it's described, but enthusiastic consent is what you should always be looking for. All enthusiastic consent means is you know the person wants to f you're not playing a guessing game you're not doing dumb shit like you know they like they really want to like they 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 genuinely really want to like you ask somebody like hey what do you want to do afterwards do you want to like before you finish it's like i want to go back to your place like okay cool right like that's like enthusiastic consent it's not like do you want to do this I'm like oh i don't know it's like well maybe we could try that and like well do you want to drink at least well, like that's like there's, that's the difference between enthusiastic consent and enthusiastic consent isn't like they're screaming like oh yeah hey, mom put your dick in me oh like what was what accent? That's what your mom said last night to me. Those exact words. <laughs> then she said that next. We're operating entirely off of vibes here because we're just sort of registering sincerity, but I think this is total BS. Um, the total the BS. severity of the accusations against him would indicate an awareness. On severity of the accusations? Dog! There was like one bad accusation that I remember, I think. And I think the really bad one if it happened, was him in the car with the one girl where he tried to put his hands down her pants and she said no. That was the really bad one. Every other accusation was like, eh, it's kind of shitty. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't push. You shouldn't lean into things too hard. You shouldn't pressure. But I think that was the only like really bad thing. And even on like the full scale of rape, that's like a level 1.5, okay? That's like a light two maybe. Like, come on. His part of the behavior that he's engaged in um, we have like corroborated texts of multiple women saying you know, that's not what corroboration means <laughs> Corroboration is when multiple people all say the same story. They're talking about the same story Five different people accusing me of five different things is not corroboration. That's not what corroboration means Vouch to him that they make him uncomfortable So the idea that he's unaware of this pattern up until this point just doesn't really spell unless he has some kind of like mental block on the subject. And considering we're talking about like serial sexual predation here, the like, you know, this isn't about me, this is about them, I respect. What are ways that you protect yourself during hookups? What are the, <laughs> someday I'm gonna write out, when we finish Factorio guys, okay? Um, <clears throat> here, okay, here's a list of things that I try to make sure are going on before I hook up with somebody, okay? Number one is we've probably already discussed acts that we're cool with beforehand. I know if they're into anal, I know if they're into whatever. I like, I, I just have a general, I do have a general idea. We didn't do that. Uh, I did with your sister and your mom at the same time. My dick was so big, it went in one ass, out the other mouth, and into the other ass, okay? It was the in Swedish shish kebab. And it felt great. Who? Both of them. No, who asked? They both did. They both asked me to do it over and over again. <clears throat> um... Discuss beforehand like things what you're doing. That's it's nice to have that assuming that you are uh, assuming that you have like some forewarning You're not like meeting at a bar like for the first fucking time or whatever um, Two is be straightforward with what you want and what you're doing like hey if you want to hook up tonight Do we need to do this blah blah blah? That's good also too because then you can be prepared if you need to shave which you should don't be disgusting um, If you need to take a shower if you need to do that shit if the girl needs to shave or get her shit in line or whatever weird shit She wants to do to be ready or feel ready um, like it's it, uh, so one is um, <clears throat> one is having some discussion or understanding beforehand. Uh, second one is um, be straightforward with what you want. Don't play games. If you play stupid ga play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Okay. If you don't 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 try to like trick somebody or trap somebody at your apartment. Like, oh, do you want to come over and watch a movie? And then they come over and you're like, oh, I'm out of gas in my car, huh? And the cell phone tower just got destroyed. Like, <laughs> looks like you're stuck here. <laughs> do you want to have sex? Like, don't do don't be like weird, stupid.
and shit like that. Don't be fucking autistic. So many people are autistic. I don't know how to give that one across to you. They're like, they're like when you touch somebody, usually you can tell. I can't, this advice doesn't work because if you're just autistic, you're just gonna ignore it. But usually you can tell when you're putting your hands on somebody, how they feel about it, right? Like there's a feeling when you touch somebody and they like kind of like lean into it a little bit more or they reciprocate and they touch you back or something like that versus you go to like touch somebody and they're kind of like, uh, and they kind of like move away a little bit. Like when you get signals like that, like chill the f out. Um, if you ever get like a stop or slow down or chill signal, then you have to stop or slow down or chill. Um, if you keep pushing, you're, one of two things are gonna happen. Either one, she's just gonna leave because she's not gonna feel comfortable. Or two, you're gonna get to have sex, but it might be because <laughs> you might super not be into it and you're setting yourself up for disaster. Don't do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Bad advice, Destiny. Keep going, guys. Us women don't know what we want. I, that's gotta be a troll in chat. Her name is Susan, but you type in chat a lot. I don't buy that line, you know? This, this isn't like some kind of adversarial, you know, like, uh, I did my best, they did their best, but they did great, so let's give them a round of applause thing. This is like, you, you... I think a lot of people just shut up from signals or have had the wrong idea their whole lives of what is acceptable, like what Andrew brings up in the video. You want to know what it actually is? You want to know the truth? You want to know the truth? I'll give you the truth, okay? I'll give you the truth, all right? And you know what? You're going to listen to this, and you're going to think, you're going to think, hey... Um, that's not me. I'm not that person. But you know what? You probably are that person. Okay. I'm going to give you the truth. Okay. Here's the truth. Like 60, 70% of these like weird behaviors, it doesn't have anything to do with sex. It doesn't have anything to do with male, female, power dynamics. It doesn't have anything to do with that. What it has to do with is the fact that most of you motherfuckers are just really inconsiderate. It really all stems from that, right? Like if somebody comes in your house and you get a drink, like, do you offer to grab them something from the fridge? Or if you're standing in the middle of a hallway somewhere and there are people walking by, do you step out of the way without somebody having to ask you? The reality is, is most of you fuckers don't. You stand there in your own fucking la-la lands. You stand there in your own world. You don't have any fucking idea what anyone else around you thinks, what they want, what could be making them comfortable or uncomfortable, happy or unhappy. Because for a lot of this shit, I shouldn't have to explain it. It should be pretty fucking obvious that like the girl that comes over to your house and you ask her to sit on the couch and she doesn't even take her coat off or her shoes off and, and you're trying to put moves on her you're autistic because you don't even stop to think for a second like well why is she still like fully clothed like she's ready to go to the north pole and she's on my couch you don't even stop and think about that because all you think about is yourself you selfish inconsiderate motherfuckers that's where most of it comes from okay that's where most of it comes from maybe she just came over to your house to play smash okay only fucking Americans are that obsessed with shaving. It's got nothing to do with cleanliness. It has to do with ease of access, okay? It's really fucking hard to, to plow your way through the Amazon to actually find some skin, okay? I don't want to sit there tonguing out your rat's nest of a bush for 20 minutes before you tell me, oh, I can't actually feel anything because did you know that hair is dead? Okay, listen. If you, if you want people to go down on you, you have to clean it up a little bit. You just have to. Unless you're part of like the 5% of the population that's like really into the ultra like ultra bush, ultra whatever shit, which some people have a fetish for, but. Somebody in chat said it earlier, what was it? Um, I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I do not expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. I, something like that. I feel like he's legal speaking a little bit, or not legal speak, but he's, he's doing kind of a boilerplate. I'm not saying you guys have to f wax or fucking shave everything. I'm just saying at the very least, Give it a trim, okay? Destiny, worst fucking take ever. You can use your hands to open the bush. If you're a virgin, I don't want to hear your shitty fucking takes on giving head, okay? If your idea of giving good head is ripping somebody's fucking lips open like they're the fucking goatsy man and the <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That was a Logan Paul quote. No, I know, I know. It's a, it's a meme, or at least I've seen it before. So that being said, I want that to make said. things clear. Um, I've always taken no for an answer. Um, as far as consent, I've never uh, overstepped that line. Um, but if that contradicts claims made from others, so multiple women might be lying. I think he's lying. Person. Who? There was only one bad accusation. For, unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something? Were there other bad accusations?
What if we like the feeling of hair in our mouths? Then, bro, you go for it, okay? Someone accused him of sleeping with the underage girl? No, the underage girl thing was hearsay, okay? The underage girl accusation was one person texted somebody else and they said, hey, I heard from somebody else that Andrew likes to hook up with young girls. And they're young because they live with their parents. That was that accusation, okay? Did multiple of the accusations say directly otherwise? Yes. Um, there are the, the, uh, th there was the like primary video accusations. Uh, there were the people who said that he like stalked and followed them. The girl who said that, that she had to kick him out of a car. Um, the, the people who said that he was following them. The people who said, there's, uh, there are so many. I, we could do like a flow chart on this. Like, the were there so many? I thought there were like, f I think there were four actual ones and then a bunch of like oh i heard this from people in seattle or i heard this from blah 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 or i heard this from blah 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 i think there were like four of them that, that's still a lot but the timelines of of accusations here i feel like um like so many have come out you could if you could piece together the timeline there you could almost just track his movement across the country <laughs> like real time you know um yeah. um yeah like real time, yeah. <laughs> there are people who directly contacted you, right, Bosch? Did they say similar? The the direct contact that I got, which again, like if if they want to say publicly, they can. If they don't want to, then I can only vaguely gesture at it, obviously, because they can do what they want. It's it's their story, not mine. But it was it was essentially like um like the, a person corroborating the 2020 story of him being at that at that party and like sexually assaulting people. I think. Um, but not like themselves being a victim. <clears throat> you know, like I said, I think for, for oh, some more here, same. I was behaving in a way that I actually thought. Okay, fuck. Was I need wrong. to go mine this um, shit. I, I need to set this up. Okay. You know, going home from the bar alone made you a loser. Um, I thought that persistence was a form of flattery, and I thought that you know, if at first somebody was reluctant, you know. Okay, so wait, hold on. Hold Earlier on. he said he respects no's, but now he's saying that persistence is a virtue and like uh, uh, continuing that. So wait, like it, it, persistence in this case would mean if they say no, you're like- No, you fucking idiot. Persistence in this case means that they're not super into it. You keep asking and asking, you keep going. Respecting no means he, he according to him, he claims that he didn't like anybody where they're saying no stop no stop he didn't do that it would just somebody be like oh no i'm not into it or no and he'd be like oh okay and then he'd ask and ask and ask and ask that's the whole point i hate these conversations oh i hate them i hate talking about them i hate all the people that talk about them like okay well i have to i have to find like a way to get them to say yes which isn't respecting no, he's saying he thought that time. No, earlier he said he's always respected no's, right? Like before he said that he's always respected no's. So, but now it, it seems this contradicts that. Playing hard to get, just try harder. Is it audience capture or does Washington believe this? He's trying, this guy is outed as like a sex pest. So now, um, um, this guy's outed as a sex pest, so now Vosh has to just like virtue signal. That's all this is. This whole thing is like, this guy's a rapist. I already know that to be true. And now whatever he says, I'm gonna try to give like, what he's like in Hassan mode right now, basically. So the critical thinking gets turned off. And then like, I need to give the stock progressive takes on everything that's happened is turned on. That's the mode that he's in right now. I think someone's feeling you, you know, make a physical advance and uh, see if they go with it. And I think that, especially I realized when so many uh, young people, especially young men rushed to defend me, when this stuff first started coming out that this type of sex pest behavior is normalized and a lot of people think this stuff is normal when i don't think that it is and i think that i want to be fully responsible for not having a fluid understanding he says he respects it but what he's clearly getting at is he's never taken a past no and physically forced someone to do something that's there. all that's wow all. vosh's audience having an understanding. Oh, good job vosh <laughs> that must have been an ex-destiny fan i mean that also contradicts some of the claims made of him it was it it was just the other day there was a um there was a news article that were more accusations uh, accusations against him that corroborated text messages from like 2021 or something at a bar in New York 
where there was a girl there who he previously was weird with in Seattle, and then they met at a New York bar, and apparently he, like, felt her up and then put his hand on top of her head and pushed her head down. Like, like, get on your knees. This is the one that, like... I don't know if I buy this one. I mean, obviously anything could have happened and I'm sure there's evidence that could be provided. Like, oh, okay, yeah, damn. But um, this is the one where I'm thinking like, cause this supposedly happened in a bar where a lot of other people present that stopped him with him trying to like force somebody to do something and it almost ended up in a scuffle and somehow there's not any text messages anywhere about this unless those were released. Cause that, in my opinion, that was like, if you've got like four five or six friends there that are all involved in this, how has nobody texted anybody about this? That just seems, that just seems so hard to believe. Nobody sent a single message to anybody? That seems wild to me. I don't know. I, I feel like there should be some sort of evidence. Um, I feel like there's gotta be somebody like texting somebody about this. Biological catalog. Vosh just said they were corroborating, te Vosh doesn't know what corroborating text means. He's using corroborating text to just say that multiple people are making similar allegations. <laughs> That's what he, that he, but he thinks that is what corroborating means or he just misspoke, I guess. But like at a bar, which is insane. That was the only reading I could get from what was being said in the, in the article, by the way, which was the, the, the claim, w w like, at, like at a bar. Wild, yeah. That would be wild. I mean, again, yes. it's, it's it's accusations, right? I, I, it's, there's, it's not perfect factual awareness of the situation. It's just like, man, I didn't hear that one. No, those were additional accusations that came out after the first ones, uh, and they were corroborated. There were text messages from the time that it happened. That okay? Wait, does anybody have a link to those? Because if those if those text messages exist, then I'd probably believe that that did happen. Or some version of that event did happen. <clears throat> but I didn't see any text messages supporting that initially. Can it, somebody link me those? <clears throat> Linkers, this is your time to shine. You guys link shit in my fucking chat all the time. Where the fuck are you guys at? Can we get some goddamn linkers in the house? Tried to isolate her from a friend group. Tried to pull her around the corner and forcibly make out with her until her roommate came over and intervened. This was the, yeah, this was the really fucked up one. But this was one where it's like, is there a um, are there any are there any texts like showing this? Try the Rolling Stones article up top. Okay. No, not a si I've got 7,800 people watching and not a single person is linking anything, so I'm assuming that this is not corroborated. And Vosh just completely made that the f*** up. I'm like, I barely followed the story, and even I seem to know more of the facts of the matter than he does. And I'm pretty sure he's been, like, going over this quite a bit, but... More women... Okay, hold on. Let's try this. Okay. More men accused YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. I set up to walk out of there, went straight to the train. I was sitting there waiting for the train, and Andrew showed up. He had followed me there. Well, I remember him saying throughout the night that he was staying somewhere nearby. He was also saying it wasn't a good situation. That's why I could stay with him. He was pleading with me to go with him. I yelled at him and told him to go away. I was like, leave me alone. He did leave, and I feel like part of the reason he did is because there were other people on the platform that heard me scream at him. Okay, well, hold on. Is that the same story as this? Because it sounds like it. Lower East Side Bar, New York, because this story sounds a little bit different now. Hold on. Let's read the difference between these, okay? Assuming these are the same. Oh, no, no, wait, this is in New Orleans. Never mind. This, this is not the same one. This is a different one. Control F Willow. Okay, that story is not in here. Okay, I don't think these texts. I don't think these texts exist. I think Vosh is mistaken or lying. Were shown to confirm the events that took place in the sense that, like, if the idea being that if the event was faked, at the very least, something happened back then that would have caused. But Vosh has no evidence of any of this. He just has no idea about it. You know, so it's if if it's a you know if it's a, a deep state op against him going back multiple years. I guess that's still on the table. He has no idea what he's talking about. Consent and what enthusiastic two-way consent looks like. Um, that being said, a lot of the things that have been said online about me. 
uh, are not true. A lot of things are missing really important contextual information that I think would change people's interpretation of a lot of these situations, but... This is possible. It's not impossible that this is the case, but it would have to be a lot. Like, it would have to be... There would have to be a lot of missing context. I'm not here to invalidate anybody's lived experience. Uh, if you feel pressured, you know, that's just what it is. I hope that young people and young men in particular can use my mistakes to learn and uh, move through life with a better understanding of consent. Um, One. As far as what I have planned, I'm not really sure what comes next. I mean, obviously, you know, reporting is my one true love, and I'm 25 years old, and I have my whole life ahead of me. But I really think that I need to do some serious work on myself and uh, figure myself out. So I'm going to start therapy sessions pretty much immediately. Um, also, not to blame alcohol, but I truly believe that uh, alcohol was a contributing factor to my poor decision making. And I think that alcohol in general has had a devastating impact on my life. So I think I'm going to uh, make the decision to join the 12 step program for Alcoholics Anonymous. And during this journey, <laughs> that's so funny. Sobriety, I'm sorry. I want to take a serious step back from public life and, like I said, figure myself out. Um, and I hope that this reaches uh, the ears of anyone who's felt affected by me. Um, Why does it make you uh, laugh? I don't know. It's just like, I need to, like, guys, I got to, like, come out as gay or non binary or some shit. And, like, bro, Spacey already did it. Like, Ezra Klein. Was it Ezra Klein or Ellsworth or whatever the fuck that one, the Flash actor, did it? Like, it's not, that's not going to work, bro. Like, <laughs> the LGBT card's been played too many times. Like, fuck. Like, well, what's something that, like, Zoomers haven't done much? And it's like, nobody really talks about Alcoholics Anonymous anymore. Like, you want to try that one? Like, oh, yeah, fuck it, dude. Yeah, I'm going to fucking AA, bro. <laughs> but I, but also, he might actually legitimately be a fucking alcoholic. I don't know. Maybe he is, in which case, I'm a huge asshole for making that joke. But, you know, sometimes you got to take some shots. You miss every shot you don't take, okay? And sometimes you hit some of the shots you thought you missed, so. You, were, you can reach out to me, even just for me to say, I'm sorry, and uh, I really apologize, and I appreciate you all. Um, I also want to apologize to um, my closest collaborators, you know, my friends, my family, and people who will have to wear this. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, career to clerk. Forever. Um, you guys don't deserve Yeah, apparently this. he takes too many shots. Love you guys. I want to say. Yeah, uh, I guess there's not really anything I can say I haven't already said. Oh, hold on. In an interview, one of Anna's friends said that she told them about the incident at the time and also showed the stranger screenshots and messages she sent to multiple people between 2019 and 2020 outlining these same allegations. Is this the one in New Orleans? At the mirror or whatever? At the window? Wait, what? No, this is a totally different thing. Oh no, she didn't follow the D rule. Remember the D, remember the golden D rule, guys. The golden D rule. Anna, a pseudonym for another woman who spoke to the stranger, said that she went to the same middle school as Callahan in Seattle. Later, in the summer of 2016, when she was 18 and Callahan was 19, she said she matched with him on the dating app Tinder. She said the two talked a bit and then planned to get coffee. These plans were eventually changed to going back to a nearby apartment on Capitol Hill. From the jump, I was caught off guard by how quickly the tone of the evening shifted. At one point, Andrew, I assume purposefully, poured wine on my shirt and proceeded to take off my shirt and then lick the wine off my bare chest. This happened very abruptly and I completely froze up. I felt unsafe and incredibly violated. She said that she hadn't intended for their meeting to become sexual and subsequently tried to express that to Callahan, who she said remained persistent, taking her hand and making her touch his penis. After providing many physical cues of my discomfort, I eventually made it clear verbally that I was not interested in continuing things. He wasn't taking a simple no for an answer, and consequently, it turned into me trying to make up an array of excuses as to why I didn't want to have sex. He kept insisting that I needed to get him off because I was giving him blue balls by not having sex with him. He repeated that phrase many times, Anna said. It was a long back and forth of him trying to get me into sexual acts. And then eventually she gave Callan a ride to a friend's house because she just wanted the night to be over. She invited him back to her apartment. She invited him back. They went on a Tinder date. And then after a Tinder date, she invited him back to her apartment to drink wine. What? What? Girl, what are you doing? Why? What are you doing? It's, it's a difficult position. She just wanted to play Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> True. 
because there's not really like much that he could say unless unless he came out with some kind of like three hour long like epic debunk of everything um i, I don't really know yeah isn't this what happened with you and poppy no not even <laughs>